I want y'all to look at that sky right there. Is that not pretty? That is a thing of beauty. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! Oh my goodness. Whoa! 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 Well, good evening, folks. Beautiful evening this evening. It's about 62 degrees. Uh, probably. Wind blowing makes it a little bit chilly. The surface temperature is at 63 degrees. Let's catch a crappie. The crappie are pulling in and they're spawning. And uh, real windy. It's not that cold, but that wind makes it cold. And I'm going to show y'all, I'm going to today, or this evening, I'm going to use a dock shooter made by All Star, lightweight rod. It's uh, six feet long, fast, light tip. Okay, and I'm using a little dial reel. I've just used this reel about twice, I believe. It's a Fugo LT1000. And on it, I have a six pound test P-line braid. And I have a leader right here around three feet long of Mr. Crappie, four pound test. Small float. Now I'm gonna use a Bobby Garland this evening. This is a blue ice with a 132nd ounce jig head tied with a loop knot. And that's all. That's all we're gonna do this evening. We're gonna see if we can't catch a couple of these crappie. I have been catching them real tight against the bank. Let's make a cast like that. Now I'm in about uh, 11 feet of water right here, so the bank drops off gradually out to around 20 feet and just kind of tapers off and then it dumps off into about 10, 11 feet of water. And all I'm going to do is just be fishing a little bit of timber and in between the timber, that's where the fish has been. And um, about two feet deep seems to be the magic number here lately. Good change this evening. I may have to readjust my float, but that's going to be about right, I believe. I'm just going to move this bait real, real slow. Now I'm using braid right here, so I'm going to make sure my drag is pretty light right here. I have a little bit of stretch in that mono, but not much. There we go. First crappie of the evening. Me, I'm going to fight them real slow with this braid. That's a good fish right here, folks. This is a real good fish. Let's see if we can keep him out of this stump right here. This is a man right here. Now, the reason I do fish for crappie with braid sometimes is because of y'all. Y'all request it, so that's what we're going to do. This is a fishing channel designed for fishermen. That's a good fish right here. <laughs> it is. <laughs> but I'm taking it real easy with this braid. I do have a shock. Right there is a double uni knot about a foot above that float. And that mono, that four pound test Mr. Crappie mono. Come here, quit. And that's a good one right there. That's a big male right there. I'll show him to you. He's peeing. That's a slab. I don't care where you're fishing. That's a slab right there. Got him right there. Right in the roof of the mouth. But braid, a lot of fun to fish with. You can really feel every head shake a crappie makes. But if you're going to fish with it, have you a mono shock on there. That's just my opinion. If you don't, you'll rip the hook out of this salt. See his mouth there? Almost transparent. You can almost see through both of his jaws. And uh, if you don't stick him down in the roof of his mouth, where it's hard, 
you'll lose him with Brady. Hey, let's put him back. I'm gonna put him back so he can go ahead and do his job. That's a big fish right there. You know, old Clarence, I ain't seen him in a coon, coon's age, but I do know that he's got to walk the line. Howdy, folks. Here's old Clarence back once again. I'm gonna give y'all a little old fishing update. I slipped off over this morning. Got in Richard Jean's spot. That rascal done been over and caught every dead blame fish in that creek. I couldn't get a bite to save my life. I don't know what we're gonna do. I'm gonna mess around and catch one one of these days. Now I tell you, y'all see this big bow I have? I'm doing that on purpose. And I do with a float if the wind's blowing. I'm taking advantage of this wind. I catch a lot of fish by doing that right there. When that crappie hits that jig, you got four to five seconds to set that hook normally. And um, so you have plenty of time to take up that slack and get a hook into that fish. There's another. There's another, golly. Man, man, stay on there, fish. It's a good one right here. Another good one. Mule. I mean a mule. Where's my net? Look here, folks. <laughs> he looked bigger than that, flashing like that. and He's a big one, though. Man, that's a mule. I always bring you nets. I do it. I'm guilty of it. Quit. Quit. No. Now. Got something wrong with his. Nah, I don't know what that is. I know one thing. <sighs> Beat up looking, ain't he? But there he is. That's a big old sow cow right there. Let's let him go. Hey. Okay. I tell you what. <laughs> that can give me a fit. Let's throw back in yonder. I think it was about right there. I'm making it look alive. That's the thing with jig fishing with a jig. You got to make it look alive. It ain't. It's just a piece of plastic. I'm just moving it a few inches and letting the jig settle back up under the float. That's all I'm doing. I might shake it just a little bit like that. Sometimes you need to and sometimes it's unnecessary. It depends on how active the fish are. Now that's something you have to mess with when you're out here. Every day is different. They're always in a different mood, crappy or moody. Oh my goodness, they're moody. There's another one. This one ain't too big. Good eating size crappie. Why well, ain't bad? Richard, what are you talking about? That fish was right by that log over there. Right back. Come here. Quit, 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 quit. No. <laughs> no. Okay. We'll do it like that. <sighs> I'm going to leave my net in my truck at all times, folks. Pretty little fish. Healthy, my goodness. Let's let him go. Go on back. Blue ice Bobby Garland. It gets the job done. There could be one right there. Look at that squirrel up there. Y'all see him? That is a big squirrel. Is that a fox squirrel? I had to go fishing with Billy today because my boat was down. There we go. 
I seen that fish flash on that bait, folks. Sure did. Let me turn and get us out of this log. He flashed on it. If that's a term or not, let's flip him in. He's hooked good. Golly. Good one. I'm catching a far out of him. <clears throat> Quit. I'll let you go every time. Now, if Mama so wanted you, you'd be eating. It's a good fish. As long as that bait's going real slow, folks, it doesn't matter if it has any action at all normally. But sometimes I have to do this. And you could probably do this all the time. Just take it and shake it a little bit and then stop it. Shake it, move it forward about a foot or a few inches like that. Stop it. It's just a good way to fish. It makes that jig look alive. I figured I could catch one more out of there. There he is. I gotta get him out of that timber, folks. Okay, we got him out. Good fish, too. Every one of these has been good ones. Come on back. That fish is real tight too. Shaking that jig. Today. That's a pretty fish right there. They're all pretty to me. Y'all know how that works. Come here. Quit. I want to at least touch him. There we go. Now that one's real black. The reason is he was wee back up in there. And another reason is <clears throat> he's spawning. Males will turn real black. Ain't that beautiful. Let him go. Well, folks, I can't tell y'all how much I enjoyed that. I didn't have too long to fish, but we caught a few crappie. I tell you, they ain't nothing like being out here. If you ain't never done it, or if you're just now getting started, make it your sport. You'll get peace of mind. Hey, and a lot of different things comes with it. But I want to thank y'all very much for everything y'all have done. Don't worry about anything. Everything will clear up. And I want to say this. Thank y'all for spending a few minutes out here with me. Fishing is a sport, second to none. I've said it a hundred million times. I'm going to keep saying it. Woo. I, I'm talking about a woo. And remember, go fishing when you can, but call this good for you.